India is the second most populated nation in the world, at 1.4 billion inhabitants, and it is set to pass China in just a few years. In this series, we are taking a look at the remarkable development that has taken place in India in the last few decades, and why the massive nation might be the next powerhouse in the global economy. As we have already pointed out in part 1 and 2, there are great discrepancies in different development metrics between the states, between North and South. Here, we will go into more specifically how these differences play out on a map of India. India is in many ways its own continent, with a population of similar or greater size than most continents in the world. We are almost doing a disservice to ourselves by only comparing India to other countries. Please note that the sources for these statistics are from slightly different years. Unfortunately, the latest finished census was conducted back in 2011, so we lack updated numbers on some of these metrics. Years are noted on the screen, and you can find out more about the sources in the description below. Let's start with life expectancy. The average age to which Indians can expect to live has gone up in recent decades quite rapidly. One explanation for this is that the child mortality has gone down significantly. But at the age of 30 or 50 or 70 today in India, you can expect to live longer and healthier than your parents could at that same age. Today, the life expectancy of India as a whole is up above 70, but it varies across its states and territories. For this we will mark every state on this map with one marker for every year of average lifespan. But we will start at 60, so the differences are more visible. The colors are to distinguish between states with a life expectancy below 68, marked in orange. Between 68 and 70 in yellow, between 70 and 72 in pink, and above 72 in purple. Uttar Pradesh has the lowest life expectancy, at just 65, and Kerala the highest at 75, 10 years longer. Overall, the South and the Northwest enjoy the highest life expectancies. Moving on to the fertility rate, we first look at overall numbers for each state. One marker here indicates 0.2 children per woman. Ten markers hence indicate a fertility rate of 2, at replacement level. Sikkim, up in the Himalayas, has the lowest, at just 1.1 children born for every woman. This is numbers equivalent to the most extreme cases of falling fertility rates in Hong Kong, Singapore and the similar East Asian states. Most of the smaller territories and city-states have the lowest numbers, but Saispal Punjab and West Bengal has a fertility rate around 1.5. Overall, most of the states have numbers below replacement level. The highest numbers we find in the north and the northeast, with Bihar at 3 babies per woman, followed by Meghalaya and Uttar Pradesh. But in close to all states, the urban fertility rate is lower. Here, we see the urban rates in blue and the rural rates in orange. In some, the numbers are half as high in urban environments compared to rural. That the fertility rate has fallen so fast in India is explaining why the nation soon will peak in population and why the number of children is already falling. If we look at the share of the population that is under the age of 15, one marker here indicates 2% of the population. Bihar once again tops the list with 35%. The northern and northeastern states have higher numbers than we find in the south and the northwest. Andhra Pradesh has the lowest, below 20%. If we switch to the share of the population that is above the age of 60, we see a similar trend. Bihar has the lowest at 6.3%, but here Delhi is down there at 6.5%. Kerala in the far south has the highest number at almost 13%. The literacy rate is here visualized with one marker for every 5% of the adult population that is literate. So half the population would be 10 markers and 100% would be 20 markers. Here we find the lowest numbers in Andhra Pradesh, Jharkhand and Arunachal Pradesh with 66%. Towards the top, we find southern Kerala at 93%, the islands of Lakshadweep at 92 and Misuram and Tripura in the northeast at 91 and 87% respectively. But there are great differences between men and women. 
We mark men's literacy with blue markers and women's with orange. While no state or territory has a number below 75% for men, a clear majority has a number below 75% for women. In the best ranking states overall, the difference is also the smallest between men and women. With one exception, Meghalaya in the northeast, with the smallest difference between the sexes, but in place 24 in the total ranking. Rajasthan has the largest difference, with 80% of the men being literate, but only 52% of the women. India is a nation with great challenges when it comes to gender equality. We will cover this in more detail in the later part of this series. And we will finish off by looking at economic development and output. Every marker here indicates 500 US dollars per capita and year. Here the difference is striking, and we surely do not need to exaggerate the scale to show the differences. The poorest state is Bihar, with a GDP per capita of just 681 US dollars per person. This would place Bihar towards the bottom of the list of nations in the world, with only a handful of the poorest African nations below it. Most states are in the middle, with GDP per capita of around 1500 US dollars to 3500 US dollars. The capital Delhi is in third place, with 5200. Sikkim in the Himalayas is in second place, with 6500. And the city state of Goa tops the list, with over 7000 US dollars per capita. This would place Goa on a world ranking around Mexico, Argentina, and Serbia. There is no doubt that there are great regional differences in development and economy within the Indian nation. This video has just put focus on a few metrics. We will talk more about the economic situation for the different regions in a later video, but in the next one we will focus on health and more specifically death. What are the main causes of death in India today and how has it improved in the last few decades? You can support my channel by becoming a member. Just press the join button down below. Thank you so much for watching.